blitz is on. Down he goes! From the time you were a water boy for your high school football team, you wanted to be around the game, right? Yeah. When did you fall in love with the game and why? I won't say at a very young age. You know, my, my brothers, you know, they started off, you know, before me, um, you know, but, you know, my mom, you know, would take the football away, you know, because, you know, the house, you know, glass, you know, table and things like that, you know. Probably like four years old or, you know, around five, you know, when I first started playing, you know, just putting on their helmets or, or things like that because I always looked up to them. But, you know, I always wanted to play football. That was just my first love. You got a lot of production going on right now. So do you think people are now aware of your abilities and they're watching you a little bit. So I feel like, I, you know, man to man, I gotta put a little cheese on it. You know, you gotta let them, you know, be a little bit open, a little bit more. Come on, come on. Let's go. And then, you know, just gotta show a little better disguise, you know, show like a little too high, then come down. So I thought there is awareness out there. Your journey though has not been simple to get here. You no, know, I'll say it was a, a very tough road, you know, just starting, you know, off, you know, just very little, you know, um, just, you know, always had to get a ride, you know, the football practice and things like that, you know, from, you know, other people, other parents, got to, you know, find a ride after school and, you know, get transportation just cause, you know, um, my mom, you know, she was working and then, you know, she had, you know, we had other brothers and sisters that she had to take care of. so. But just little things like that, um, you know, and then, you know, also, you know, just losing people along the way and, you know, it was very tough. So, um, you know, just, you know, trying to always battle, you know, um, always didn't have, you know, like, you know, a silver spoon, you know, a lot of, a lot of things, and, you know, always had to fight for a lot of, you know, good things too. Obviously, we're referring to your brother mm -hmm. and that, that's a tough one. Well, new details this morning, a man from our region was shot and killed in Texas. This was Tuesday, right near Prairie View A&M University. 19-year-old Tali Lamar Brisker from Turtle Creek. I know you throw the L up, right? You you're still doing that? Yeah. You take him on the field with you every day? Yeah, every day. Um, got a shirt, you know, that I carry around in the locker room all the time. You know, especially before games, I just hang it up there. You know, just, you know, a reminder. You know, he's on my arm, too, so that's a reminder, too. So, you know, just always got him with me. <laughs> Brisker on the blitz. They got Prescott wrapped up and down he goes. Seems like you're built to be a bear. You got the mentality, your physical, your tone setter. What would you say about this journey with the Bears and what you hope to be in the end? You know, I was younger, you know, my favorite player was Walter Payton. You know, um, I did a lot of school projects on him. You know, a lot, not too many people know that, but um, you know, I feel like, you know, I definitely was meant to be a bear, you know, just, you know, me looking at all the players, you know, 1985 Bears, you know, the physical defense. I uh, pay a lot of attention, you know, to the Bears, and you know now I'm here, which is crazy, and I feel like it's going to get 